why you acting like a fool? I'm walking around you where it's cool. Hi guys! This is what today is gonna look like. Super excited for this one. So I try to start my day pretty early in the morning. I've been working super late these days, getting some extra work done. So generally I try to get up early in the morning, but today, I mean, it's already 8. I try to do a little bit of stretching exercises before I get up from my bed. I feel like a good sleep cycle is really important for anyone to function properly. And also if you get up early in the morning, you have plenty of time to do other things. Okay, now that I've woken, woken up, Namaste and hi. Okay, here I was just trying to show you the time but the watch has given me a little hard time here. It's basically trying to show you guys the time but couldn't really figure out how to. Okay, after confusing myself a little bit too much, this is the time right now. It's 8.14. I think I got up around 8 o'clock. Okay, on my camera I still couldn't see whether you guys could see or not. Okay, okay, Shefali, we get it. It's 8.15. Hello. Okay, after all of that, I'm gonna go to my kitchen and get some hot water ready with a few slices of lemon and a little bit of honey okay you don't have to put lemon slices like that you can just squeeze the lemon and take out the lemon juice honestly i did it because i wanted to make it look a little aesthetically pleasing wow chef you're trying to make your lemon water look aesthetically pleasing <laughs> So I'm just going to take it sip by sip, not have the entire glass at one go because I used to and it just is somehow related to your digestive system. Now this is something that my family doctor told me. It's always better to break down that food before you put it into the body. Okay, I'm going to freshen up and get started with my day. Okay, I either try to go for running or go to my gym. So gym for today. Basically the goal is to sweat as much as I can get the toxins out of the body i'm just gonna start off with warming up a little bit and it's generally a mix between cardio and a little strength training okay after a good two hours of workout i am done and it is time for me to get under a cold shower cold shower is super duper important it will boost up the metabolism and it's really really refreshing so i'm going to start with cleansing my hair i'm going to use this one from khadi Take out a generous amount and you know add some water to it, dilute it a little bit and then use it on my scalp. Always remember shampoo for the scalp and conditioner for the roots. And now for the fun and fragrant part, I'm gonna go in with this watermelon body scrub by the Vedic Naturals. Now dude, this smells like a dream. As soon as I opened this jar, the entire bathroom was smelling so good. Okay, so it has these tiny beads that will help in taking out the dead skin cells without being too harsh on the skin. So I generally do this once or twice a week for a good mild exfoliation. And now I'm gonna go in with a shower gel. I'll be pouring a generous amount on my loofah and get rid of those nasty hair. Guys, shaving off unwanted hair is just like a personal choice. Honestly, I cannot stand body hair. I'm gonna get the loofah extra for me and try to get rid of those hair. Right after shaving, I'm gonna go in and have my breakfast. Breakfast is really important and probably the favorite meal of the day. I try to work with whatever's available at my house. So my go-to meal is oats, fruits and nuts. With milk and honey, sounds just perfect. Now on to my post-shave care. Now these roll-ons are from Dove. I was searching for affordable products that was skin friendly and was easily available in the Indian market. And I came across this. So this roll-on is from Dove. I've been using this in my post shower routine. So these roll-ons come in two variants the even tone one and the original one also very handy and easy to carry i'm going to show you how it looks like so this is like a rotating ball that has a product in it four five swipes of this and you're good to go i'm going to use the original one i mean we do have dark marks on our underarm and it is totally normal to have them so these roll-ons are enriched with one fourth moisturizing cream and caring oil that'll help in getting an even tone and reduce dark spots okay i'm more of a spray person because i'm mostly out all day and odor is a huge problem for me dove also has these sprays that are more fragrant but easy to carry and apply so this one is the original one and this one is the even tone one so the even tone one will help you out with the dark spots and evening out the skin tone and that is exactly why i'm gonna choose this one today now i do not like sprays because they have alcohol in them but to my surprise this has zero percent alcohol okay it is really important to shake the bottle before use this has a very refreshing mild fragrance and is said to have 48 hours of body odor protection i absolutely love the product it did not cause any itching and was comfortable throughout the links for these are going to be mentioned in the description bar. Do make sure to check them out. 
Now I have a combination to oily skin type and people with oily skin type do they have blackheads blackheads that are very much visible on the nose Now I get a lot of mixed reactions about these blackhead strips Personally speaking I like them particularly the ones that I am using in the video these are not too harsh on the skin and pretty much do their job pretty well This will not only take out the blackheads but this will also take out the little hair that's on your nose I was super happy because of the placement blackhead strips and face sheet masks I'm never able to get it right on the first time meanwhile i was searching for some nail paints i really don't like dark nails and so i was just searching for some light color for myself i generally go with nudes and whites and so i'm going to go in with this one today it's going to be a white nail with some top coat i have a lot of nail paints and i'm telling you guys i never splurge on nail paints i try to get the best of the deals because i cannot stick to just one color and don't you think like investing so much money in one nail paint it's better to get like different colors in it i think these nail paints are 109 rupees per bottle but this is pretty much the first coat of the nail paint and let's just say that i'm not the best at applying nail paints i have nail paint on and i pretty much messed up my thumb also i was trying to open up this bottle and my nails are pretty much done and modeling coming right through okay tell me how my nails looking like probably not the best but hey i did it at home i did not spend money so i think it was a pretty okay job on to the blackhead strip i mean it is really important to hold it from one side and then carefully and gently remove the strip off my nose On to the next step which is facial hair removal. For this I'm going to use aloe vera gel. I used to dry shave a lot earlier. But honestly when I started using aloe gel it became a lot easier for me. My skin used to have a lot of redness because of dry shaving and that is why I switched to this method. So I'm just going to generously apply a layer of aloe gel on my face. Now these razors are from Miniso. They come in a pack of 3. Pretty safe to use and these are economical as well. So I'm just going to work in small sections, keep the pressure on my hand really gentle and get rid of the hair. I'm also going to shape my brows because the parlor wali didi will make it extra thin and I will definitely not like it. Once you're done shaving, it is really important to sanitize the products. On to my pimples. I have some active pimples and for this, I'm going to let these do the work. Now these are acne patches from Vedic Naturals again. So these come in a pack of 36 patches. Pretty much suitable for all skin types. Both men and women can use this. I don't understand. Boys can use these too. Now I started using pimple patches because this absorbs the oil, dirt, pus from the acne. Plus this will stop you from touching it over and over again. I personally like these patches because they have no parabens in them. They are 100% drug free. So I'm just going to carefully place it on top of the pimple and leave it on for about 4 to 5 hours. Now carrying on with my toner probably the most favorite part of my skincare some fresh spray of toner super refreshing and will take care of those open pores actually saviors for oily skin types Following up with this super hydrating sheet mask I'm going to keep this for about 15 minutes there's a small tip for you guys whenever you put a sheet mask on do not let it dry on your face because instead of moisturizing your face it's going to take away moisture from your face Exactly so don't put it on for more than 15 minutes. And there you go. Doesn't it look like I just had an expensive facial? And now I'm going to face massage this serum into my skin for about a good 10 minutes. I mean you can find several face massage videos on my page right now. This is super duper good for your skin. It lift up your face, promote blood circulation in the skin, making it super radiant and glowy. Under eye care is equally important to you guys. So I'm just going to take this on my ring finger and massage it all over my under eye area. We start showing our age from our under eyes the most and it is really really important to take care of this area. On to the lip scrub. Now I'm going to use this lip scrub from the Naked Nature. This smells 
amazing this is made out of all natural ingredients this has pure ghee and almond in it i absolutely love this lip scrub this will help me in exfoliating the dead skin cells on my lip and give me those red plush lips Now using a wet cloth I'm going to remove the scrub from my lips and follow up with a nice nourishing lip balm. And for this I'm going to use this one from Plum. Now this is the bubblegum melon flavor. Smells exactly like one. I really like this one because it is more like a lip butter. And after the application it looks more like a gloss. I ended up gifting the same but in different flavor to my sister. I mean this smells really good too, but personally speaking I really like the bubblegum one. They're really creamy and have a little tint to them as well. So if you're like a less tinted lip person with a little glossy finish on their lips, this is the product to go for. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this as well. Now that the serum has soaked into my skin, I'm going to apply a little Cetaphil on my skin. Now if you feel that after the sheet mask your skin feels hydrated, you can choose to skip this step. But if you want to go with that ultimate hydration, I would highly suggest you to go in with a moisturizer after a sheet mask. Now the last step of the skincare is the sunscreen. And so I'm going to go in with this one. So I am staying indoors today. So mostly two fingers should be just fine. Boring stuff, combing my hair. Dude, my hair is a mess. I barely keep track of combing it. And then the common complaint is that my hair has turned into a jungle. I mean, do you see the difference? And ever since I started back combing, I'm pretty sure it has improved the scalp circulation and the quality of the hair. I love reading story books and this relaxes me a lot. You can choose to do anything that you like, art, music, anything that relaxes your mind. I'm just going to read a couple of pages before I go for a short nap and continue the rest of the day. All the products used in the video are going to be linked in the description. Do make sure to check them out and grab your favorite item. I hope that you guys liked my video. If you did, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time. Bye guys.